Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Lisa. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hi, it's a pleasure to see you once again in another class in the last day of our week. So we are going to work a lot today. We are going to continue learning. We're going to continue practicing. Tell me, how was your day? Good, bad, so-so, excellent, fantastic. How was your day? For me or for who? For everybody, all of you. Uh, in my case, um, how do you say, yo fui a San Miguel? I'm I, going. I went, I uh, went. I, I went to San Miguel. Oh, you went to San Miguel and you went to work, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. So you went to enjoy the hot weather of San Miguel. Very hot. <laughs> very I imagine. Hot. I imagine that it was very hot. Okay. Really? I went to Amapalita. It's oh. near it's near San Miguel. Exactly is in La Unión. Oh my god. <laughs> So it's, it's a little fun. bit further. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Hi, guys. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. Well, Roberto, it was a big trip for a day. Hello, everybody. Well, so for the rest, how was your day, Catherine, Elia, Lisette, Mr. Guillermo? I don't know where you, where you are. My day is heavy, teacher. My day and was. Careful. My, my day, day was, was, you say. My day was stressful and heavy. Stressful and heavy. I, I imagine. That makes mm -hmm. two of us because my day was difficult. But then when I come here and I, I know that I have classes with you, then everything is better. Definitely. Yes, I really, I really like to come to share with you, to relax in the class, to teach you, to share, to speak with you. So it makes my day. Guillermo, where are you today? Uh, now I am in the work and working oh, right now. Yes. You are working. Okay. We yeah. are going to behave today. Hoy nos vamos yes. a portar bien. Ah. <laughs> okay, good. Very good. So uh, let me see. Hello, Catherine. Tell me a little bit about your day. Okay. My day was very busy, stressful, and only pasé en la computadora. I spent, you say, I spent my day in the computer. I spent my day on the computer um, haciendo cálculos. Doing, doing math. A lot, of, a lot of mathematics. Oh my yes. god. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it's a moment for you to relax a little bit. That's that's good. Miss Kayla. Kelia. I, I always confuse your name. Kelia. How was your day, Miss Kelia? My day is boring because actually I have COVID. Um um, pero, but the uh, symptoms, symptoms, symptoms is low. Oh, they are low. Oh my God. Well, if you feel good to be here, it's okay. But if you don't feel good, don't worry. Okay. We are going to understand and take good care of yourself. I mean, cuídese mucho, cuida, cuida toda la familia ahí. Así que a veces pasa que a uno le da y le da todo. So we need to be very careful with that. Ok, Kelia, sí que deseo que se mejore un montón y pronto. Y que no pase más. Do you, have you. Your, do you have your vaccines? Do you have the vaccines? The shots? Yes. The three? Yes. Uh, two. Ah, two. Okay, so after that, get the next one. <laughs> okay, Kelia, thank you for sharing. Thank you very much. Mr. Oscar Chacon, how was your day? 
Hi, good evening. It good. Just a calm house. Acabo de regresar apenas regresa apenas llegando para conectarme. Oh, you you had just returned. You had just, just returned. returned. You say yeah. I have just returned home. You say when you yeah. have just arrived. Okay, so it's a pleasure to listen to everybody to know that you are okay. Heidi is driving. Don't get distracted. Hello, <laughs> Jocelyn. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Mr. Francisco. Welcome. Okay, so yesterday I assigned a little homework. Ayer le dejé una tareita. ¿Cuál fue la tarea? Demonstrative pronoun. Exactly, right? To work a little bit on demonstrative pronouns. And did you have the opportunity to investigate a little bit about it? Yes. Okay, tell me a little bit about the demonstrative pronouns. What are they and how do you use them? This and mm -hmm. this. This and used, this, uh -huh. This and this is used for object eh, que están cerca, como se puede decir. Objects that are close. Objects that are close. Close to me, eh, or say close, uh, close, cerca. En singular. And in singular, uh -huh. This is for singular, T-H-I-S. This is for singular. Uh -huh. Continue. That and dos. Uh -huh. Is used for object que están lejos. That dice? are, that are far. For objects are that far. are far. And plural. And in plural. These, in plural. okay, these and those, right? These and those. These and those are for plural objects that are uh, close or far, depending, because close, uh, you use these, right? You use these for the ones that are close and those <laughs> for the ones that are far. You say those things right there, right? Those are, that's the one that you use. Anything else that you investigated about the... Demonstratives? Any other information, examples that you that you got? Did you get any example? Any example sentences? Yes or no? Uh -huh. um, this, this is cat beautiful. Okay, this cat is beautiful, right? This cat is beautiful. This cat is beautiful. Right, and you show the cat, right? Because you have it, I mean. And in that case, uh, when you say this cat is beautiful and you show me the cat because you are touching it. Okay, any other example? Like that, this is my pencil. This is my pencil, very good. Because you have it on your hand, it's something that you can actually show and you can actually talk about it. And you say, this is my pencil, right? Good. Do you have any other example? With these. These are, these are hair pens. These are hair pens, right? These is plural. And you use it for plural objects that you can touch. Okay, very good. Give me another example with a, a singular object. Grab something that you have there. Agarren algo que tengan ahí en la mesa. Cualquier cosa que tengan en la mesa. Agarren algo que tengan ahí. This is my chair. This is my chair, right? This is my chair. Uh huh. Kelly. This is, this is my pencil. This is an eraser. This is my pencil, right? This, this is my. This, this, this is, is my, my computer. Phone. My computer, my phone. Good. My target. Ah, oh, that is. What is it? Is it your ID? Yes. Uh, SIM. The SIM card. Ah, so to say that's my card. My card. My card. Porque target in English is objetivo. objetivo. Oh, okay, okay. That's my target. You say when you see your when you see your crush. That's my target. You <laughs> your wife for sure. Your wife. How do Whatever. you say teacher servietero? Uh, well, that will be. I think it's a napkin. 
keeper. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Let me check right now. Because napkin is servilleta. Napkin. Napkin. Let me see. But it, it must have a name. Right now I am going to investigate it. It will be a napkin keeper. <laughs> I am going to see right now. How do you say servilletero in English? Any, let me see. Yeah, napkin ring. <laughs> what a curious thing. Napkin ring. I am going to send it on the chat right now. That's, imagine in my 18 years of teaching, I have never asked that question. Napkin ring, it's servilletero. Cool, very good. Now, Show me something that you have there, but in plural. Something plural, so it has to be two objects. And I can say, these are my glasses, right? These are my glasses, because they are plural, right? These. Any object that you have there in plural? Uh, yeah, in those are shirts. These those are, are chairs. My keys. These are my keys, good, very good. These are my earrings. These are my earrings. Yes, very good. These are my earrings. Uh huh. These are my shoes. These are my shoes, right? Your shoes right there. These are my fingers, you say, because you can move them and they are plural, right? Any other thing that you have there in plural? Catherine, what do you have there? Mm. My fingers. <laughs> <laughs> my fingers, right? You have the curtains at the back. These are my curtains, you say. Oh, yes. Good. You have the curtains right there. Very good. So that's the use of the demonstratives. And as the name suggests, it demonstrates things, right? You say, this is this, this is that, that is that. So you demonstrate, you show something, and you use the demonstratives for that purpose. Okay. So we are going to go over the presentation for today. I am going to share it with all of you. And for sure, we are going to practice a little bit of the demonstrative forms. Here, I am going to share it. Let me see if you can tell me if you see it. Yes? Can you pronounce this singular and this plural, please? This? Okay, you say this, only one, this, and the other one is these. And you open your mouth, you smile, right? You say this and these, okay? Ya cuando les tomen la foto no van a decir cheese, van a decir these, <laughs> and you will smile for the picture, right? Say these, these, okay? The other one is short, you say these. This is my cell phone, right? This is my cell phone. This is my pen. This is my pencil, right? And these are, that is going to make the difference between, because even if you cannot make this sound correctly, you are going to use are after the word. Aun si el sonido no nos sale o no hacemos toda la sonrisa, vamos a ocupar are después de él, porque es un plural. Right, you say, these are cats, okay. these are shoes, these are my students, right? And the other one is, this is, this is my house, this is my office, this is my computer, this is my chair, these are my headphones, right? So that is going to make a difference. Even if you don't pronounce the complete sound of this and these, the verb to be is going to make a difference. So it's going to help you a little bit there. Keep it in mind. But don't confuse it, right? Don't say, for example, in, in the case, uh, these is earrings, right? Try to make use of the correct verb to be, okay? Si no, si ocupamos el verbo incorrecto, se muere un diccionario. No andemos matando diccionarios por el mundo. Every time you say, this is earrings, uh, on the grammar. No, don't do it, please. Don't do it. I am going to share my PowerPoint with you. Chan, chan, chan. There we go. And we are going to make a little matching activity. We were studying 
third person, professions, occupations, and everything. So we're going to make a little practice here. We're going to make a little practice with them. And here we have, for example, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. What about the chef? How can we use it with the chef? Good food. Good food. Good food. Good food. Good food. In, food. A in a restaurant. Cooks food. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. What about a flight attendant? Mm, Sir, passenger. 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 For airline. an airline, for an airline, airline, airline. 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 for an airline. For an airline. Good. What about a carpenter? Build house. Build house. Build for houses. For a construction company. Uh -huh. Good moment. You say construction. 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 Don't say construction, right? Construction, Construction company. company. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. Good, very good. A receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. A receptionist. A in an office. In in an, in an office. And what about a nurse? A nurse. A nurse. In a hospital. In a hospital. In a hospital. Very good. Patients? No. You say patients. Patients. The patients. A nurse. A nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Care for patients. For patients. 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 patients in a hospital. For patients in okay. a hospital. Listen, and then you are going to give me the sentence. Right now, just listen. Okay. I am going to silent everybody. Okay. Okay. There you go. It says a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. A chef cooks food in a restaurant. A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. A receptionist answers the phone in a hospital. A nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Okay, we are going to practice together. Let me see. Catherine Reyes, can you tell me about a salesperson? Salesperson sell clothes in a department store. Okay, so now imagine that you are my friend and you are telling me, ah, a salesperson, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. Okay, it's going to be in a complete <laughs> sentence. Okay, okay. Catherine. Do you know what a salesperson does? Yes, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. Okay, again, again. <clears throat> Aquí no ha pasado nada. <clears throat> Catherine, do you know what a salesperson does? Yes, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. Oh, fantastic. Jonathan, do you know what a chef does? Yes, a chef cooks food uh, in a restaurant. Uh -huh, now, sure. Uh, Jonathan, do you know what a chef does? Yes, I chef food. I chef good food in a restaurant. Again, again, again. Uh, Jonathan, do you know what a chef does? Yes, I chef good food in a restaurant. Fantastic. Very good. Mr. Oscar Chacon, do you know what a flight attendant does? A flight attendant service passenger for an uh, Airlines. Airline. Do you know? Okay. <clears throat> practicam, practicam. Mr. Okay. Oscar, do you know what a flight attendant does? A flight attendant service passenger in for an airline. Again, again, again. <clears throat> Aquí no pasó nada. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? Mr. Oscar, do you know what a flight attendant does? A flight attendant serves passengers for an airline. 
Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for the thing. I didn't know. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Miss Lisette Castillo, do you know what a carpenter does? A carpenter build house for a construction company. Okay, a carpenter builds houses. Carpenter build houses. Build, builds. Builds. Houses. Houses. For a construction company. For a construction company. Uh -huh. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. A carpenter builds houses in a for a construction company. Yeah, we're doing it better. Thank you, Lisa. Teacher, Thank you for the effort. Yes, tell me. I, I have a question. Question me. Why when you say you are for an airplane. Por qué ocupa el dos al final? Eh, which one? En ah, todas las que when, when, I, when I make a question, what? Okay, do you know what a self person does? It's because the type of question that I make, right? That that I say, do you know? Sabes? Do you know? Uh -huh, do you know? Uh -huh, I am going to write it for you here. Do you know? What a sales person does. Ah, que es una persona, que es una vendedora. ¿verdad? No, no, no. En este caso sería, ¿sabes lo que hace una vendedora? Ah, ok. That's why I make the question. Y ahí es donde ustedes me dicen, ah, a sales person sells clothes in a department store. Ah, ok, thank you. So that's the form of the question that I use. Ok, ok, ok. Very good. And you can also say, la pregunta normal sería, what does a sales person, person. do? What does a sales person do? Esa sería como la pregunta formal, la pregunta cuadrada, podemos decir. Pero como yo les estoy preguntando algo como que yo no lo sé, y les pregunto, do you know what a sales person does? It's like, ¿sabes lo que hace una vendedora? And then you say, a salesperson sells clothes in a department store. And say, like, oh, thank you very much. Because the answer for this one, la, la respuesta para la segunda pregunta sería, she sells clothes. Just that. Sería una respuesta bien cerrada. She sells clothes because that's what a salesperson does. That's why. ¿Le contesté no. su pregunta, Roberto? Yes, teacher. It's okay. clear. Very good. Now, Roberto, do you know what a carpenter does? Uh, yes, the, carpet, the carpenter build, builds, building, builds, uh, builds houses. Builds houses uh, and builds muebles. <laughs> Furniture. Furniture. Uh -huh. And no, but here you uh, have the answer. A carpenter builds houses for a construction company. Do you know what carpenter, a carpenter does? The carpenter builds houses in a company. In a company, right? The carpenter builds houses in a company. Mr. Guillermo, do you know what a receptionist does? A receptionist answered the phone in an office. Very good. Miss Kelia, do you know what a nurse does? Yes, a nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Very good. Mr. Francisco, do you know what a flight attendant does? A flight attendant serves passenger for an airline. Serves passengers for an airline. Do you know uh, what a flight attendant does? Serves passenger for 
on airline. <laughs> okay, <laughs> más, más, más relajado, como que me lo estuviera contando como amigos. Do you know what a flight attendant does? A flight attendant serves passenger for an airline. Very good. You see, the relaxing part was missing. <laughs> Miss Jocelyn, do you know what a receptionist does? A receptionist answers the phone in an office. Very good. Angelica Lasso, what does a receptionist do? A receptionist... Uh... A receptionist answers the phone. Where? In an office. In an office. Very good. Tatiana Martinez, what does a carpenter do? A carpenter builds house houses? for a construction company. Very good. But it's houses in plural, right? Practice that one. Mr. Eric Ramirez, do you know what is the job of, of a nurse? A nurse cares for patients. Patients. Patient in a hospital. In a hospital. Okay. <clears throat> Más relajado, como que fuéramos amigos. Bah. Ya somos amigos. Dígame. Hey, Mr. Eric Ramirez, do you know what a nurse does? Yes, a nurse care for patients in a hospital. Patients, patients. patients. <laughs> Mr. Eric, what does a nurse do? Yes, a nurse cares for patients in a hospital. Thank you very much. Mr. Marlon Barrientos, do you know what a receptionist does? A receptionist uh, Cares for patients. Answers the phone. <laughs> Answers the phone. Uh, in, a, in an office. In an office. Okay, the last one. Alfredo, go ahead. What does a chef do? Yes, a chef cooks food in a restaurant. Very good. Very good job. Okay. So, huh, you see, yes, that's the way we do it. Remember that when you answer in English, it has to be friendly. It has to be like if you are answering to a friend. Let's read a little bit. We're going to read a little bit. We're going to practice reading. And we're going to read about jobs. Here we have three different people. What are their names? What are their names? Teresa Glass, Teresa Glass and Lamar Andrews. Lamar Andrews. Okay, tell me, who is 16 years old? Lamar, Lamar Andrews. Lamar Andrews. Tell okay. me, who has a class all day on Monday? Teresa Glass. Teresa Glass. Can you tell me who has a baby? Kerin Thomas. Kerin Thomas. Thomas. Can you tell me, please, whose father has a restaurant? Lamar Andrew. Lamar Andrew. Okay. Can you tell me who? from the three people that we have here, needs the money to buy a house? Erin Thomas. Erin Thomas. Thomas. Okay. Thomas. Let me see. Who from the reading wants to study art? Teresa Glass. Teresa Glass. Very good. Let me see. Who from the three people in the pictures have a computer? Getting Thomas. Getting Thomas. Thomas. Uh -huh. Very good. And the last one. Let's see. Who likes to go out with his friends? Mm -hmm. Lamar, Lamar, Andrews. Lamar, Andrews. Lamar Andrews. Lamar Andrews. Lamar Andrews. Ajá. Ahorita acabamos de hacerle scanning y skimming a las lecturas. No los puse a leer todos los párrafos, ¿sí? No. No, but I was giving you a specific information 
to focus your attention on very important things. Because in some cases, when you read, you go like, -da 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 -da, quickly, uh -huh, like bonito. Uh -huh, that's it. Uh -huh, computer, uh -huh, that's it. Uh -huh, restaurant now. Uh -huh. ¿Qué decía la, la lectura? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Uh -huh. But if you focus your attention first on a specific details, you are going to start remembering things. Porque ahorita, si la quito, veamos, si la quito, what were the names of the people? Lamar Andrews, Karen, Thomas, Teresa, and Karen. Do you remember? Do you remember something specific? Recuerdan cosas específicas de ellos? Lamar has sixteen. Lamar is sixteen years old. Uh huh. Teresa. Uh, Teresa study art. Study. Teresa studies art. Mm, okay. Karen has a computer. Kenny has a computer, right? Good, mm. very good. He needs a job. He, all of them need a job, right? All of them need a job. I am going to choose three volunteers. Let me see. Me too. Okay. Me, 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 me. Very good. I have the three Bs here. I have uh, Kelia. I have yes. Lisette. No. <laughs> Who else? I have Kelia. Who else was the me, me, me? Oscar. Oscar and one more. Francisco. And Francisco. Okay, Kelia, Oscar, and Francisco. You are going to be, a, well, you are going to choose one of them. You are going to start reading. Francisco, you can read the first one. Go ahead. Interesa. Teresa Glass, uh -huh. Okay. I don't have time to work, but I need you. No me lo mueva, pues. <laughs> I was making it bigger, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> action, Francisco. <clears throat> I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art, I have class all day on Monday, with the night and Friday. And on Tuesday, and Thursdays mornings, I usually study on weekends. I don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. Okay, good. Aquí como todos aprendemos de todos, correcciones de pronunciación que le podamos regalar a Francisco. Dígame, dígame. Ajá. Study. Study. I have. Study. I have. Have. Ajá. Have. Otra. Friday. Friday. Good. Wednesday. Wednesday. Tuesday. Hasta Canelo está ahí aportando. <laughs> okay, so it's good. It's good. I really like to learn from each other. Si podemos aprender y podemos aprender de todos, that's even perfect, right? You have Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Tuesday and Thursday, right? Tuesday and Thursday. I know the days of the week are very complicated for everybody. Don't worry. So college. in college, right? Quickly, quickly, quickly. And experience, experience. Thank you. Claps for Francisco people. There you go. Good job, good job. Ya el segundo, ya no quiero leer. Vamos. ¿Por qué? Porque aprendemos aquí juntos. Don't worry. Number two, Kelia. Go ahead. Karen Thomas. My husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary, but we don't save very much money. We want to save some money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer. Very good job. Pronunciation issues? Errores de pronunciación que le han escuchado? No. No, right? It didn't have anything. So you say, my husband and I, my husband and I, right? It's just like one thing. My husband and I have a new baby, right? He makes a good salary and you did a very good pronunciation on that one. Very good, Kelia, very nice. Okay. 
Very good. And Mr. Oscar. Okay. Lamar Andrews. I am uh, 16 now, and I don't get an allowance from my parents anymore. I need to earn some money because I like to go out on the weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Oscar. Uh, pronunciation issues. I am going to give one for everybody. Allowance. Allowance. I don't get an allowance from my parents. It means that they don't give him money anymore. Allowance is that they give them money, but he doesn't have an allowance from my parents anymore. Ajá. Otras correcciones que le podemos ofrecer a Oscar? Sorry. So you say 3.30, right? 3.30. Uh -huh. Another one? Owns. Owns a restaurant. My father owns a restaurant. Okay. Okay. Earn. Earn. I need to earn some money, right? I need to earn some money. Okay, what is the main purpose of Teresa to get some money? Algo de dinero. No, what is the main purpose? ¿Cuál es el objetivo de Teresa? What is the main purpose? Because for the pay is very ah. expensive for because, pay the college. Because she wants to study. The college is expensive. What about getting? She don't have uh, enough time. She doesn't have enough time, but what is the main objective for the job? She wants a house. Buy a house. She wants to buy a house. And what about Lamar? Lamar? He wants to go with her friends. He wants to go out with his friends, right? He wants to make some money to go out. He doesn't get an allowance from her parents. He doesn't get an allowance from his parents anymore. Okay, very nice. So you see, they have three different purposes to get the money, right? Priorities. He wants to have fun, she wants a house, and she wants to study. So we have different priorities. Okay, so a uh, very good practice, the one that we had today about the previous topics. That was very good. So here we have what we were talking about. We have these, these, that, and those. This is for singular, that it's near. This is for plural, that is near. This is for singular, that is far. And this is for plural, that is far. Okay, the pronunciation of this one. We're going to practice say this. 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 Okay, we're practicing this. 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 This is my pencil. This is my pencil. This is my computer. This is my computer. This is my house. This is my house. This is my teacher. This is my teacher. Okay. These. 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 And I will say, these are pictures. These are pictures. These are pictures. These are pictures. Okay. Ay, Stephanie. Hombre. These are shoes. These, these are, are shoes. shoes. Let me see. These are wheels. These, these are, wheels. are wheels. Wheels, right? These. Llantas. Llantas. No le va bueno, wheels también la llantita. These are wheels. <laughs> the next one, that. 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 Uh, let, that, let, me, uh, let me see your houses and I am going to get the examples from there. That, 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 that. That, 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 that is a boy. That, that, that boy. is a boy. A boy. That it's is a boy. a boy. Let me see. That, that is a boy. That is a picture. That, 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 that is, is a picture. picture. That is a cupboard. That, that is a cupboard. Behind Kelia. Behind Kelly, you have a cupboard. Cupboard. Behind Kelly. Un chinero. 
Behind uh -huh. Kelia, mm. you have a cupboard. cupboard. That cupboard. is a door, a red door. That is a door. Oh, that is a mirror too. Behind Jocelyn. Yes. Behind Jocelyn, we have a mirror and you have a door. That is a window behind Catherine. That is, that, a window. that is a window. That is a window. That is a window. That is a tree on Jonathan's wall. That, that is a tree. Is a tree. Yeah. You see? Can you move it up? enfocar. That is a tree. You see? <laughs> yes. <laughs> on Jonathan's wall. I saw it on the first day and I love it. That was that looks fantastic. Okay, so that that is singular. And those. Those, those oh, are students. Those are students. Those are glasses. The ones that those Jonathan are glasses. Oh, glasses. Those, those are glasses. Those are glasses. Are those airport. are curtains be behind yeah. Catherine. Those oh, are those curtains. Are curtains. 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 Very good. So that's the use of these, that, these, and those. Mm -hmm. And here we have a little example. We use one or ones when we're talking about choosing or having more than one option. <laughs> and in this one we have, is that your car? Is that your car? Which one? With the red one or the blue one? Oh. The red one. Ah, yes, it is. So in this case, when you say one, a que nos referimos? El carro. A, okay, you refer to the car. You say, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? Ah, the red one. Yes, it is. Okay. You refer to the, to the object. You can replace the object by one or ones, depending on the sentence. So because if you don't use one, in this case, you are repeating too much. So like, is that your car? Which car? The red car or the blue car? The red car. So you repeat car, 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 car too much. Is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? Ah, the red one. Yes, it is. Okay. So that's the use of one and ones. And here I have a short example, right? I have here the grammar part for the demonstratives. We were talking about different objects yesterday in the class, right? Talking about different colors, talking about different accessories. And now here we have the form of the questions. When you use the question, how much is, you are asking for the price. And when you are giving a specific prices, you, you always use, in this case, the form $42. So it's $42 or $59.95. In this one, when you have a period in the middle, you say $59.95. For you to say that it's $59.95, right? $59.95 or $59.95. Say $59.95. So and 95 cents if you want to separate it. But it's also possible to say 59.95. And it's just like that. And here we have an example. How much is this necklace or that necklace? Which one you say? The blue one, it's $42. How much is that ne necklace people? How much is that necklace? How much is that necklace? It's $42. It's $42. It's $42. For How much are these earrings? 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 They are $18. They are $18. They are $18. So if you are asking are the question, 18. how much are those earrings? How much, how much are those earrings? earrings? They are $18. They are $18. Let me see. I am going to show you different objects. Ah, I have here a perfume. So 
what is, <coughs> what is the question that you will ask for this one? I'm going to show you a perfume, right? Ta -da! A perfume. What will be the question? How much is this perfume? lotion? Oh no me pueden decir how much is this porque no lo están tocando. How, how much is that? How much is that? How much is that? that perfume. 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 It's how much is that perfume? Fifteen dollars. It's fifteen dollars. It's fifteen dollars. How much is that? Phone? It's how, how much is, is that, that cell phone? phone? That's how much cell is phone. that cell phone? How it's, much is that cell phone? How much is that cell phone? It's one hundred dollars. It's one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Let me see. Um, let me see. I am going to show you another one. I have many objects here, so I can just get one. How much is How that? Much is that, book? that, book? that, that How book? much is that dictionary? It's $25. It's $25. $25. And when you give a price, you can say, I am going to give you options to answer. If you get a price, if you get a price, you can say, that is okay. Or you can say, that's reasonable. <coughs> I take it. I take it. Or like, me lo llevo. Or you say, no, thanks. No, thanks. It is too expensive. Aparte el buen salvadoreño. Cuánto lo menos. <laughs> and nada for menos, that one, menos. for that one, más tarde. no, for that one, it's a, like you can you can have this form. Is that your final price? Okay. Is that your final Is price? Your Is that your final price? And here you are going to feel identified. Ni me subo ni me bajo. Come back later. <laughs> I will come back later. He said, like, <laughs> I am going to go to the ATM. I said, like, no, you can you can pay with the car. No, I am Whoa. going to go for, for the bitcoins. No, we accept bitcoins. <laughs> and no, I am going to come back later. <laughs> no, this, this one is good Salvadorian. But I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to come back later. Okay, I am going to show you different objects and you tell me if you are going to buy them or not. So, my dear students, I have this beautiful mouse for you. Ta -da! Questions? How much is How that, much is that mouse? 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 It's $12. It's $12. Ah, but um, ahora, ahora ustedes me contestan con alguna de las opciones. That is okay. That's I right. take it. Thank you. Sorry. Kelly. your final price? <laughs> Kelly took it in $12. Sorry. <laughs> you see, I have these beautiful sketcher glasses that are very nice and original. They are for the computer. There you go. You have them here. Ta very good. Very beautiful. Okay. How much is that? Decimos how much is that? How much are those? Porque no los estamos tocando. Two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. It's more expensive. Well, my final price. I will come be... back later. <laughs> my Not final thanks. price is one hundred fifty. No, thanks. It is too expensive. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. You okay. offer 100. You offer 100. Yes. <laughs> 100. I will take the 100. I have this book that it's a nice reading. It is in Spanish. It's um, a suspense book. It is very nice and very interesting. 
A book. How much is that book? How much, How much is, is, that, is that, book? that book? Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Okay. It's okay. okay. Take it. I'll take it. You say okay. I have I have a couple of, of copies. <laughs> I have this oil for the door for it not to crack. Or you can put some there on the door. Uh huh. How much is that? that? Oh, much. Oh, yeah. that $20. Okay, let me get another thing. Let me see. Oh, I have this beautiful cantaro here. <laughs> It is it is a, a, a very autochthon piece from El Salvador and it is very antique. So it is uh fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. It's very antique. I think it's like, dollar. Do you have it in black? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have it in black? No, only what? blue. Only in I have five dollars. Five dollars. Like no, I, no. I only go to the ATM. <laughs> I will come back later on. Uh, so that's, that's the your way. Final price? Yes. Well, my final price will be forty nine ninety five. <laughs> no thanks, it's just too expensive. Okay. Okay. Anyway, era una pieza antigua, right? You can you cannot get it anywhere. Only here in Nati's Collection. store. <laughs> Ignatius. Yeah, Ignatius store. It's it, it has it is like fifty years old, so I think it's it is good, right? So I will, they, yeah, I will come back later. <laughs> I am I am just checking. You say, solo ando bien. I am just I checking. checking. <laughs> ando cotizando. Yeah, I I am I am studying the market. I am studying the market. You say, <laughs> I am checking prices. Price. Okay. I am checking prices, right? I am yeah, checking, checking prices. prices. Very good job, my dear students. Very nice. So you see, we are learning how to bargain things. Definitely. Okay. So we are going to continue here. Here we have a little conversation. Can you check it out, please? Read it, and then we're going to practice. Check the readings, please. And then we're going to practice. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Excuse me, right? When you are asking, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, imagínense que alguien no excuse les está poniendo me. atención. You say, excuse me, and how much are those jeans? How much are those jeans? How much are those jeans? Which ones? Which ones? Do you mean, Do you mean this? this? No. No. no, the light blue ones. Light blue one. Oh, they are fifty nine ninety five. Almost $0.95. Are you kidding? It says like almost sixty. Are you almost kidding? 60. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? It's like está está bromeando. It's like come on, it's almost sixty dollars. Too crazy. Yeah, if you go to the agachón, then you're going to get like seven for sixty dollars. Yeah. yeah, you go to the pase MS and then more than sixty dollars for ten jeans. So you say, um, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? Which ones do you mean this? No, 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 the light blue ones. Oh, almost 60. Are you kidding? No, thank you. I will come back later. <laughs> <laughs> I will take my dollars to another store. Like <clears throat> you see, I like that backpack over there. How oh much is God. it? I like that. Which it's one? Which one? one? Which one? Oh, the red oh, one. Which one? It's it's Let me see it, please. Yeah, it's like 
Bájemelo. Bájelo. <laughs> Let, Let me see, see it, please. It's okay. Uh -huh. Are those is... Okay, so is, excuse me, how much are those esos jeans? Aha, uh -huh. because in this case, imagine that you have them. Uh, let, let me get a piece of clothing. Okay, just give me one second. Um, I am going to get a piece of clothing from here. Okay, I have a shirt right here. Imagine that you are on the store and then you have the jeans, right? You have the jeans on the wall, right? Like this. Yeah. And they are there, right? Ahí están colgados. No sé si los puedo colgar en algún lado aquí. I am going to place them here. This is a blouse, but we're going to make the exam. Okay. <laughs> eh, I have it there. And you say like, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Because oh. you cannot touch them, right? En la tienda están así mostrados y no los puedes tocar. Right? How much are those jeans? And you say, which ones? Do you mean these? And it says like, no, the light blue ones. Ah, these. And then you show the next ones, right? There you go. Real life examples here with my sweater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's that's the use that you give to this. Los estudiantes van a decir, la teacher tiene todo alrededor. And yes, it is like that. Aquí al alcance de la mano. So that's why you say, how much are those jeans? Porque no los puedes tocar y los solo los señalas. Okay. <clears throat> Ask me the question. Excuse me, how much Excuse are those jeans? How much are those jeans? Which ones? Do you mean these? No. Oh, the no. Light blue oh, ones. The, light ones. ones. the light blue ones. Ah, you mean uh, these ones? They are uh, fifty-nine ninety-five. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they are very expensive. I know, que pobre. It's like they are very expensive. I know, que pobre. It's like, so, but thank you. I am going to come back later. Bye bye. Okay, so the next question. Which one? The red one. Well, the blue one, right? The 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 blue one it's twenty seven forty nine, but this green one it's only twenty two twenty five. Okay, let me see Here you have, you see? It is, it is full of unnecessary things, but they are going to love it. Right? Black, please. <laughs> the black one, please. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's my favorite too. Okay, so that's the form of questions, right? Those are the form of questions. But when you start a conversation, you say, excuse me, for you to call the attention of the person, right? And then you ask the question, right? How much are those jeans? Uh, which ones? Do you mean these? No, the light blue ones. Oh, they are $59.95. Almost 60? Are you kidding? I like that backpack over there. How much is it? Which one? The red one. It's $27.49. But this green one, it's only $22.25. Okay, let me see it, please. That's the Mister, form. Yes? The last question. Yeah. Are those is solo para... Only for plurals. Okay. Yes, because when you say uh, how much is that, uh, you cannot say how much is that jeans, porque jeans ya es plural de por sí. sí no sí. podemos decir that. Okay. Imagine that you are buying a shirt. Si andas comprando una camisa, how much is that shirt? Mm. Porque igual está lejos. How much is that shirt? Right? How much is that hat? How much is that uh, dress? I don't know, dress? How much is that jacket? Right? You can, right, use, you it. can use it. You can okay. use it like that. So, before we go, tenemos like one minute, one minute to do this. Can you ask me questions about the objects that I have there? How much are, are these? 
Those sunglasses. Which ones? The pink ones. The pink ones. The pink ones, the pink ones are fifteen dollars. That is expensive. But the black ones are only five forty-five. Okay, let's repeat. Very good. What about the cell phones? How much is that? How much are these cell phones? Uh, which one? The red one or the blue one? The blue one. The blue one, the blue one is $300. That's expensive. It's a Nokia 3000. Come on. <laughs> It has artificial intelligence. It's very <laughs> cheap. <laughs> you can take it. Right? And here you have examples of the things that I was giving you. That's cheap. That's, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. That's okay. That's not bad or that's expensive. Okay. So let's continue practice this during the weekend. Remember to advance on the platform. And I am going to see you on Monday for another class. Have a beautiful night and have a fantastic weekend. Bye, my dear Bye. students. Good night. 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 Good night.